Good morning, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming out here today on this important announcement that we have today on a program that just has tremendous success for our community. And it's just a wonderful program for our moms and our babies, and we're really grateful for that. So let's step back a little bit uh, from the first days of my administration almost nine years ago. Our core values of health, lifelong learning, and compassion have guided and continue to guide and will guide all of the decisions we make as a city. And those decisions have been made to help us uh, create a city with the goal of helping everybody meet their full human potential. And that goal applies to everybody, no matter what age, no matter what neighborhood that you're from in our city, that will be and is our goal. So to make that happen, we have to understand and respond to all the challenges and sometimes painful results our residents face and that our data shows us when we take a look at that. For example, we found a real call to action in the findings of our 2017 Health Equity Report. It documented the fact that there is more than a 12-year difference in life expectancy for babies born in different neighborhoods in our city, and that is completely unacceptable. Try explaining that to a new mom and see what she would have to say. The zip code where a child is born must not determine how long he or she will live or how healthy he or she will be. So our Healthy Start program has been working to close this gap. Healthy Start has served more than 10,000 children and their families since it began in Louisville in 1998. Last year alone, it served more than 800 families. Healthy Start Family Support Services include the WIC nutritional program, parenting classes, childhood immunizations and physicals, special fatherhood trainings, and doula services as well. Healthy Start specifically works to improve the health of newborns and their families in five West Louisville zip codes, 40203, 40208, 40210, 40211, and 40212. The infant mortality rate in these neighborhoods is more than double the overall rate of the rest of our city. But the Healthy Start program has achieved outstanding results. From 2013 to 2015, the overall infant mortality rate in the five target zip codes was about 11 deaths per 100,000 live births. And among African-American babies in these zip codes, it was almost 14 deaths per 100,000. Compare that with the infant mortality rate of 5.3 for the overall Louisville area. Now, let's look at the participants in the Healthy Start program. For this same period, the average infant mortality rate for Healthy Start families was 1.13. That's about one-fifth of the city average and one-tenth of the neighborhood average. Yes. Those are some incredible results and outstanding work. Now, the, the challenge, obviously, is to scale this so everybody's affected. We're really proud of this work. We're really proud of the outstanding job that Dr. Sarah Moyer and her team does, all of our community partners that come together as well. And we'll be hearing from Dr. Moyer, our chief health strategist for the city here in a second. So when we experience success in Louisville, our goal is to build on that success. And that's why I'm happy to say that Healthy Start is expanding to include in-home mental health service. In April, our great Congressman, John Yarmouth, was here with us to announce $4.6 million federal grant to continue the work of Healthy Start. And now he's back with us here today to join us as we announce $143,000 in additional federal funding from the Department of Health and Human Services. This will allow Healthy Start to bring in-home mental health services to the family that it serves. So we really want to thank Congressman Yarmouth as usual. Uh, he has been a longtime supporter of Healthy Start. So his work in securing these additional dollars for this and so many other programs here in Louisville are just invaluable and a real testament to how he loves our community and how he will work the halls of Congress to make sure that we continue to great, get the great funding that we need. So please welcome Congressman Yarmouth. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, it's great to be here this morning for uh, another important announcement for the Healthy Start program. 
You know, any of you who've heard me <clears throat> talk over the last couple of years knows that I am uh, totally obsessed with the, uh, the notion that we absolutely have to do everything we can to make sure that every child born in this country has a, a healthy start, not only with physical and mental health, but also with their education. And this program uh, is one of the ways that we can, we can do that. And I just want to congratulate Greg and, and Dr. Moyer and, and her team for earning these grants. Uh, that's one thing that uh, we forget about is that uh, people don't give the grants out to organizations that haven't proven themselves. And the effectiveness of this program that Greg uh, referenced is one of the reasons why we continue to get support through this program. I was proud to lead the, uh, the effort, the, the letter uh, from many of my colleagues to the appropriators for the funding for Healthy Start program, $128 million last year. So when you, you think about $4 million coming to Louisville and $128 million annual appropriation, that's a pretty good chunk of the money that comes here. And again, that's a tribute to the people who are implementing this program and, and also to the, to the citizens who have taken advantage of it. So uh, I'm proud to be a part of it and uh, proud to represent this great team that uh, is doing everything they can to make sure every child does have a healthy start. Thanks. Thank you, Congressman. I'd also like to recognize Whitney Meadows, who's here representing Senator Paul's office, so we appreciate your support. Let, let's now talk about how we get it done on the street level here. Dr. Sarah Moyer is the Chief Health Strategist and the Director of Louisville Metro Department of Public Health and Wellness. Uh, Dr. Moyer has many skills, and she's also a mom of uh, four young children, uh, so she has a lot of experience in a lot of different ways in her academic training and her real life training really prepares health, us to help guide our city to a city of even more health equity. So we're really proud to have Dr. Moyer on the team. Please welcome Dr. Sarah Moyer. All right, well, thank you, Mayor Fisher and Congressman Yarmouth. Um, I wanna first send a huge thank you to my Healthy Start team. Um, we would not be getting this money without their amazing work under the leadership of Dr. Kaloya and Jennifer Bowman. Um, I'm happy to be here today for this announcement. At Public Health and Wellness, our vision is for a city where everyone and every community thrives. We work to achieve it by bringing about health equity and improving health across the entire community. Mental health is certainly a vital component of overall health and well-being. Research conducted over the past 20 years points to just how much damage emotional stress can have not only in early childhood but, out throughout, but throughout life. Not surprisingly, adverse childhood experiences like family instability from parental separation or parental incarceration, witnessing violence, or growing up in a household with substance use disorder or mental health problems have been linked to such later life issues as drug abuse, alcoholism, and suicide. But research also indicates that these traumatic experiences in childhood can also lead to such adult conditions as diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. So to give our children and their families the best possible chance for a healthy life, we must continue to work to prevent these adverse experiences and also make sure families have access to mental health services. As a mom of four young kids, I know parenting can be hard and stressful, but I found support from family and my community and healthcare professionals to make it easier. These new dollars will allow us to integrate mental health services into our Healthy Start programs and our home visits. It's vitally important for women who may suffer from postpartum depression and for families who have experienced trauma. Stigma around mental illness can make women reluctant to seek help outside the home, but now we'll be able to bring these mental health services to them to complement the range of services we provide. These additional funds will allow us to hire a certified licensed social worker to do in-home counseling, and as well as contract with another mental health professional to facilitate family support groups. They'll also fund training to equip our staff to better access mental health needs. So I wanna join Mayor Fisher in thanking Congressman Yarmouth for his continued work and advocacy for children and families in our city. Thank you. Where did you go? And now I'd like to invite up Anicia Williams to the podium. She's a licensed certified social worker who's gonna facilitate support groups for our family start, our Healthy Start families. Welcome, Anicia.
So I'm really excited to be a part of this partnership with Healthy Start. Healthy Start is allowing the opportunity to take initiative and create a framework for their families. I am grateful to provide support to mothers and families by addressing mental health from a holistic approach. We will work together to model for the community how when we hold mom, dad, and families with support, we create a better outcome for baby and children. Establishing support groups for moms during pregnancy and posts that will be accessible, convenient, safe, non-judgmental space creates connection and empowerment. Education will be provided with a strong emphasis on exploration of the participant's feelings of being an expected mother or father or just parenting. You see, we do a great job of asking women how their body feels during pregnancy and after birth, but we often neglect to assess their psyche. We will be intentional in screening and using evidence-based practice interventions. The support groups will range from fourth trimester, what is life after birth, grief and loss of a child, co-parenting, single parenthood, inner child, so echoing our childhood and how that plays out in our parenting. Workshops will also be offered to the community so they can be engaged on how to support these mothers and families. Suffering and silence, education and awareness of risks of postpartum depression, adverse childhood experiences, and how that impacts parenting. Stepping into the caregiver role, healing from generational trauma, and then advocating for quality care in healthcare settings. Also ex excites me to pour into the frontline staff by providing training and coaching with a reflective practice framework. Self-care, how do you handle work-life balance? Secondary trauma stress as a professional. How to build rapport and trust with clients. We will also talk about inclusion, impl implicit bias, and equality versus equity. How to address the elephant in the room in regards to health care. We have much work to do, but I assure you from my commitment to this cause, along with Healthy Start, we will be able to heal mothers and their families so that it also heals their children. Thank you. All right, I wanna, I wanna thank the citizens of Louisville who've really been great in terms of le leaning into these issues that are related to mental health. Uh, our community is very open in terms of a discussion when, we're when we have challenges with substance abuse. Uh, six months, nine months ago, we announced the rollout of a five-year program to build a trauma-informed network of care in our community so we could understand and move through trauma with more services that we have. And now this announcement here today shows that we as a city really get it, that there's a lot more than physical health that we need to be concerned about, and we have to understand the health of the brain as well. And that wouldn't happen, as the congressman said, and Dr. Moyer alluded to, if the citizens of Louisville didn't embrace what we're trying to do here as Metro government. So it takes a great team, which we have a great team here with our Healthy Starts program, in our public health and wellness program, but it takes the community to embrace this as well. So I want to just thank all Louisvillians for helping us to get these grants and look forward to the wonderful results and progress that will come from them. So with that, if there's any questions, we'll take them. How do people get involved if they want to become involved with this program? How do they, you know, find out about it, talk about it the whole nine yards? So we are located in the five zip codes that the mayor mentioned, 40203, 40208, 40210, 40211, and 40212. And if anyone is interested, we are currently operating out of the neighborhood places in those areas, um, Bridges of Hope. Um, you can go to Ujima or Northwest Neighborhood Place, and they can help you there and get a referral in for you. So people would just show up there and put in an application or talk to somebody? They can talk to somebody who can get a referral in for them, yes. Tell us your name, please. Uh, my name is Jennifer Bowman. Yes, most people go to the neighborhood place now. Mm -hmm. Anything else? So the grant's a five-year cycle, which started in April of this year. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks everybody. Good job.